A very warm and delightful welcome to my channel. My name is Salim and you're watching Pursuit of Motivation. Today in this video, we are going to learn the first lesson of NCERT book, Honeysuckle of Class 6. The name of the lesson is Who Did Patrick's Homework? Written by Carol Moore. I hope you all are enthusiastic to learn this new lesson. So let's get started. This is a wonderful story which has presented magical realism, which means something that is not magic but a belief, and it has been presented in a very beautiful manner. A boy, Patrick, who gets inspired and feels propelled or motivated to work hard by an imaginary elf, a supernatural being. He is not only able to complete his work, rather score high grades. This story conveys the message that we should never lose hope in ourselves. Self-help works wonders. Let's start with the text. Patrick never did homework. Too boring, he said. He played hockey and basketball and Nintendo instead. His teachers told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true, sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus. But what could he do? He hated homework. Let's look at some difficult words in the above text. The first word is Nintendo. Nintendo is another name for a video game. Another word is Ignoramus. Ignoramus means an ignorant person who lacks education. Patrick is a boy of your age, just like you. But he did not like homework. He never did his homework because he found it boring. But he was not at all a lazy boy. He played different outdoor games such as hockey, basketball. He also liked to play video games like Nintendo. But the only thing he was lazy for is his homework. He hates doing homework because he was not interested in studies. For him, homework was boring and tiresome. His teachers warned him to do homework and if he didn't do so, he wouldn't learn anything. And Patrick also felt the need of doing homework. He did feel like an ignorant person as if he lacks knowledge and he should listen to his teachers. But alas, he hated homework so much that he was completely helpless in this regard. Then one day he found his cat playing with a little doll and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all but a man of the tiniest size. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches and a high tall hat much like a witch's. He yelled, Save me! Don't give me back to that cat. I'll grant you a wish. I promise you that. So as to make reading more interesting and immersive, the author Carol Moore has used a lot of rhyming words in this prose. So here in the above lines, we have the word breeches, which rhymes with the word witches. And another word is cat, which rhymes with the word that. So let us look at the difficult words. The first word is breeches. It is actually breeches or short trousers. The writer here spells it for fun to rhyme with the word witches. And next word is witch. Witch is a woman who uses magic to do evil. And the opposite of witch is wizard. And wizard is a man who uses magic to do evil. Next word is grabbed. It means caught or to get hold of something. Next word is tiniest, which means smallest. And the last word is yelled, 
which means shouted. One day, Patrick observed his cat playing with the doll and was surprised to find that it wasn't a doll. Rather, it was a man of the smallest size. It was wearing a woolen shirt with an old-fashioned trousers and a tall hat which made him look like a witch. The doll cried and requested Patrick to save him and not to send him back to the cat. In return, the doll promised Patrick to fulfill his wish. So Patrick was granted a wish by this amazing creature, an elf. What could Patrick possibly wish for? What could a boy who is fed up with his homework wish for? Maybe you know it. Let's find out. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problems. So he said, only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester, that's 35 days, if you do a good and a job, I could even get A's. Semester. It's a term of six months of school or college session, as you have in your schools, SA1 and SA2s. It was difficult for Patrick to accept that he was so fortunate to get an answer or solution to all his difficulties through this tiny man. So he asked him if he could do his homework till the end of the semester. That is a period of 35 days to help him score A grade. Patrick was thinking that with Elf's help, he can improve his grades. The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fists and grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, am I cursed? But I will do it. So let us look at some difficult words. The first word is dishcloth. Dishcloth is a cloth which is used for washing dishes. Another word is hamper. Hamper is a basket usually with a lid. And the next words are grimaced, scowled, pursed his lips or pursing one's lips. These are the facial expressions for showing disgust, anger and disapproval. Next word is wrinkled means slight folds on skin because of old age or sometimes because of anger. And the next word is cursed which means ill-fated. It is usually used to describe something that is annoying to you in any angry way. After hearing this, the little man's face gave a look of cloth lying in the basket used for washing dishes. As a cloth gets wrinkled over a period of time, same were the gestures made by the elf. He showed his disapproval for the work by kicking legs, doubling his fists and making unhappy faces. He asked if he was that unfortunate to do that task but he promised to do the work and true to his word that little elf began to do Patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and Patrick would have to help in whatever way I don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. No. What's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. So here we have this word glitch. Glitch means a fault in a machine that prevents it from working properly. And in this prose it means hitch or problem. And another word we have squeaked. It means crying aloud. And keeping his word, the elf 
that supernatural creature started doing his homework but sometimes he needed help as he didn't know all things then patrick had to help him sometimes while reading patrick's homework the elf would say crying aloud that he doesn't know the meaning of that word so give him a dictionary or something that can help him to identify the sound of each letter as well as word when it came to maths patrick was out of luck what are times tables the elf tricked we elves never need that and addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it's a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too here we have this word strict it means to give a short high pitched cry the elf knew nothing of maths all concepts of maths were completely strange or odd things for him patrick was unfortunate in this matter the elf explained that elves never needed mathematical concepts like addition subtraction division and fractions so patrick had to sit next to him to guide even he did not know anything of human history it was completely strange to him thus he screamed at him to visit the library to get him more books and help him to read as well as a matter of fact every day in every way the little elf was a nag patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag he was staying up nights had never felt so weary was going to school with his eyes puffed and bleary let's look at some difficult words the first word is nag nag means one who troubles someone all the time by complaining or asking them to do something next word is drag it means something dull and uninteresting another word is weary it means extreme tiredness the next word is bleary which means looking dull because of tiredness actually that little creature was either troubling complaining or asking patrick to do something or the other all the time patrick was not able to sleep and was awake for nights together he had never felt so tired before and was going to school with his dull looking eyes finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go as for homework there was no more so he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door slyly it means to do something secretly or secretively finally it was the last day of school and the elf had complete freedom to go as there was no more homework to do so without speaking anything in a secretive manner he moved out from the back door patrick got his a's his classmates were amazed his teachers smiled and were full of praise and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick he was now the model kid cleaned his room did his chores was cheerful never rude like he had developed a whole new attitude chores chores means the work that must be done every day often boring attitude it's a feeling about someone or something amazed means being surprised patrick scored a grade his classmates were surprised teachers were full of appreciation 
and parents were trying to know what made him so perfect what had happened to him he became an exemplary child who cleaned his room himself did all his work became a happy child who was never rude and developed a complete new self and look you see in the end patrick still thought he had made that tiny man do all his work but i'll share a secret just between you and me it wasn't the elf patrick had done it himself in the end i would like to say that it was not the elf but patrick himself who did his work the elf just propelled him motivated him to do everything towards the end of this video let us summarize the lesson patrick was not a lazy boy he played hockey and basketball with a great zeal but he hated doing homework he had little interest in studies his teacher warned him to do homework if he didn't do so he wouldn't learn anything one day patrick found his cat playing with a little doll it was in fact not a doll but a small sized man an elf the elf wore a woolen shirt a tall hat and breeches he was in trouble he needed help patrick saved him he saved his life from the cat the elf promised to grant him a wish patrick was glad he called himself lucky he asked the tiny man to do all his homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days the little man showed dislike but he agreed to keep his promise the tiny man however did not know about maths and english he needed help patrick consulted the dictionary he had to sit beside the man to guide him he brought many books from the library he worked very hard to solve all problems the elf went away after 35 days patrick got good grades in all the subjects he was a changed boy now he became a gentle idle boy he still thought he had made the tiny man do all his homework but truly speaking he had done it himself that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video till next time take care stay blessed